go live. So let's go on that on now. Gordo RC's in the house. Arshley Basher boy. I'm going to unbox this and hook something up in here. Guys, let me know. Does it look better like this or with this light on? Or like that? Does it look better with this light on? Better with it on. All right, thanks. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what happened with this uh, buggy here, the WL Toys. I swapped out the electronics in my last video, and I had this Twin Hammers ESC in there, and I never tried it. I was going to go on the mountain with it, but I never tried it. Me and my brother and the guy next door went back by the school and played around with our new trucks. And in the crawler mode, every like five minutes, it just it just kept uh, cutting out, losing power. So it just didn't work in that mode. So I had to rip it out. So that's what's in this bag here. I'm going to open it up now. Beauty! <laughs> Got one of these beauties to put in it. The good old faithful 1060s. I like these for brushless. I mean, rather brush motors. So I'm going to drop this sucker in. And probably I might test it out on the angled thing I put over there for you guys. I have this all opened up already. I was working on it. I just got to put new stick tape and stuff. Yeah. I have a little LED flashing forward, Basher Boy, so it kind of lights it up. I think I could turn a lot of this off. Golden Fish Tank says, when we went to the school testing our trucks, when it failed, I had to do the walk of shame. <laughs> Kelly Paulson's in the house. Thanks for stopping by. Everyone give me the thumbs up. I appreciate it. So this is the ESC. I'm going to drop this sucker in here. And if you guys want to talk about anything, just mingle and talk. If you have any questions, I'll try to look at this and figure it out and answer you. Was it this one you put WD-40 on the tires? Gordo, yeah, I put WD-40 on them. You could hear they still grip good. Listen. Makes them grip really good. What type of servo are you using? Uh, Nick Porter is asking what type of servo. I have it all listed in my build, the last video I had that wasn't live of this. I converted the electronics. I'm using Fly Sky, but I, I picked up these uh, cheap servos. Let me see if I could see the number in there. A 996R. It's some cheap servos. You get them on eBay. They're metal geared, so I tried them out. 
I think I left the link in my last video so you can check it out. Joel G's in the house. Did it make them so Gordo, yeah, it makes them stickier and softer. What I do is I spray like this brush with the WD-40. Then I coat it all, and I keep spraying it till they're like oily looking like armor rolls on them. And I let it absorb in a little while. Then it gets real tacky and sticky. You can hear it works good. Let me switch this here. Live chat. I got some Chinese writing here. I don't know what the heck they're saying. What's your opinion on the rig and the twin hammers? Personally, I'd rather use a twin hammer, I guess, because of... Uh, there's no comparison. The twin hammers compared to this is night and day. It's a it's hundred times better. But I just got this because I wanted to make like a cheap budget build. You've seen my series. And I converted it on. It actually surprised me. I thought it wasn't going to work too good. And it actually works really good. It was working good until the electronics. I don't know where I put them. The stock stuff. I was in the map. And one time it just stopped working. Something fried. So that's why I put the uh, new stuff in. But this Twin Hammer ZSC doesn't like crawler mode. If I don't use it in crawler mode, it'll work perfect. It's just the crawler mode thermal. Oh, Gordo, yeah, try some out on your tires. If you ever think you need any more grip, give them a coat and let it absorb in. All right, I'm going to start working on this. This is the stick tape I use. It's really good. It's like a see-through gel, like clear looking. This stuff works awesome because... You could actually peel it off instead of the other stuff that's the black sponge. you got to use your thumb and it hurts and you can't get it off. This holds really good, but when you have to get it off, you could just get it off, like stretch it slow and it'll come off. So I got to... I just got to remove this stick tape here from my last one. You can see how it comes off. I don't know if you guys can see that. It, it comes off a lot easier than normal stick tape. You just stretch it slow. See that? And that's it. Like gummy. <laughs> RC Bash are cool. Yeah, I hear you. I understand my turn is a little and it became a right, wispy. Yeah, you can mod anything. Let me flip this around so I could work on it. Gotta get some alcohol. I need a napkin. I'll be right back in one second, guys. Use rubbing alcohol to clean the surface off. Just wipe it down. my exact don't I Claude busted in the house thanks for stopping by give me a thumbs up brother kind of looks like my lossy rock yeah it's like a mini rock hammers I'm just installing a new ESC because I put all regular standard electronics or the fly sky in there 
and I had my uh, twin hammer ZSC in there and it, in rock crawler mode. It just didn't work. It kept thermal, and so I'm going to switch it out. These guys could talk, mingle. I'll be working on this beauty here. I need a new scissor. <laughs> You guys, you ever use this clear stick tape? Any of you guys? This stuff's really, really good. Cloud Busted's always working on Cloud Busters. How many clouds you got now, Cloud Buster? Cloud Busted? See what's in this box here before I put it in. I'll unbox this. Beauty! You have over 300 clods. Holy screw! I'll have to say beauty to that. <laughs> The 1060 ESE is awesome. The only thing I don't like is they use the Tamiya connectors on this here. And they got the little plugs to switch LiPo and impacts or to forward reverse or to break like a rock crawler. So I'm going to switch to jumper on this to the rock crawling mode. I think you don't even have to put this in and it does it because I think on my other one I just have one in there, but I'm going to try it like this first. And then I'm going to move this one to the lipo mode. That should be it for that. I like the little holder they give you on the ESC to put the switch in, slide it in. Just like that.
They give you stick tape and some heat shrink. I'm not going to use that, so I'll put that aside. Break out my rubbing alcohol again to clean the ESC. Basher boy's asking Quadbus if he has a Fox VE. I think he still has it. Dragoro RC Piano is that? Hello. Thanks for stopping in. Give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. I ran mine not so long ago. I think Cloudbuster showed his a while back on his channel. Comparing it to some other truck. Now I gotta see how I'm gonna put this sucker in. I probably have to put it this way. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put it just like that. So we'll have to take the red stick tape protector coating. Sky Pilot's in the house. Thanks for stopping in, brother. Hit that thumbs up, everyone, to help me out. I appreciate it. Thy builds in the house. Thanks for stopping in. What's up, buddy? First time I've been able to catch a live show. Yeah, I'm pretty new to this. I only did a few of them. I had a lot of technical difficulties. Terrence, this is your first time going live when I have missed. Caleb Wagner's in the house. I did like, I think, uh, three of them maybe and uh, had a few technical problems. So I'm hoping this will be nice and smooth. The last two before this, I, it just got cut off after like an hour and a half or so. You can just call me Omar. <laughs> Tamaya man, Omar. Yeah, I'm switching the uh, electronics in this this uh, WL toys. I was telling the guys I already switched it to real electronics, and I had this Twin Hammer ZSC in there in the rock crawler mode. And me and my brother and the guy next door went out to the back of the school down the block to test our trucks. And this kept thermal, and after like five minutes, I don't know why, but it works in the regular standard mode good. So I got a the quick run. The 1060 are really good for the brushed motors, and I'm going to put that in there, and that's what I'm doing now. Omar loves the... Yeah, it's a good ESC. I got a few of them, too. I got them in my Pajero. A few other cars are really good. They're only like 20 bucks, too. So they're, they're like so good for a price. It's unreal. Sometimes it's a little bit of a pain to get this red... Uh, protective plastic off this red the clear stick stuff but it works really good yeah it runs on 3s i never tried one in 3s mode but now how was i going to put this in i think i have to put it that way because Gonna put it towards the front. Now I'll put it right like that. There, she's in. I'm gonna put it in that position. 
because actually, guys, I'm going to probably have to, I know I'm going to cut this off and add a Dean's, but it's so short, I may have to add a little bit more. It may not, it may work, I may leave it, but I have to put a Dean's on it. But for now, when I test it, I just got an adapter. Omar, when you run, did you ever run one of these in the rock crawler mode? I think on my Pajero, I don't even have this first mode switch in. I think it automatically stays in crawler mode with it out. I don't know if you ever did it, if you know. Or I could be dreaming. I have to look at my Pajero. <laughs> Do you ever run it? Do you run it with both these little jumpers in? You see the little jumpers? Because I think if you take the top mode out for the, the like forward reverse and like break, I think if you take that out, it auto stays in the rock crawling mode. I don't know if you if you know, let me know. Oh, RC Basher boy, notice the beauty. I'll show you, I'll show you a little later. Also, guys, I got these stickers made. I sent a few of them out. Take a look at them. I sent a few of them out and uh they went out Monday to the guys in the US. So if anyone wants one of these. In the U.S., so far I'm shipping them. Just uh, contact me on my homepage on the YouTube, and you could email me your address, and I'll ship you one out. They're really nice looking. Oh, Omar, do you have a better drag break? I don't, I don't know. This is a new one, so I'll have to see. It's on there good now. That ain't coming off. Now I just got to hook this on here. I'm just going to hook it. I'm probably going to hook this, the receiver on here, guys, just like that. I don't know if you can see it good. I'm just going to hook it on the side. I already had stick tape on it from the way it was set up last time. I may have to move that in. I don't know if this will fit in there, that position, but now I got to put the motor on. Let me see. Drone reviews. True drone reviews. Brian's in the house. Thanks for stopping in. I'm working on the beauty here. That should be the right way. I got the. Ugh. I guess I could test it. Just plug this in real quick. RC Basher, boy, that's an old Cox car. I don't know if it's from the 70s. I always liked these when I was a kid, so I got a couple of them. I showed them on my channel, but I'll show you guys. That's my logo is this bug here. It's pretty neat. Brian, are you ever going to find a, a budget drone that flies nice and has a nice HD camera? Do you think you'll ever find one? Is there one out there? <laughs> All right, I got the battery here, guys. And uh, I made this, I have this adapter to the Dean's plug just to try it out because I have to solder a Dean's on here. 
And I don't want to solder here now because it makes us smell and I usually turn on the fan with the thing and it makes a lot of noise. No, Steve, they are all turds. <laughs> <laughs> I goof that one doesn't have a true drag brake, but works. No, I think, uh, Omar, this has a drag brake, but you can't adjust it. It's the crawler one they make has a, like, you could adjust the strength. This has a drag brake. You just got to, uh, it has one setting. It just auto drag brakes. I'll try it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to put a ramp on the side that I go up over there and I'll, See if I could show you guys and turn the camera or bring it there. And we'll see how it works. I got to fix all this up. I'm, I got to get rid of this and wrap it up and everything. But just for now, just to see if it's working. Gordo RC, it's programmable with a program card. I think the crawler one is programmable. This 1060 has like three different modes. I think it has forward, no brake, forward, reverse, and with brake, and then forward, reverse, but it has a drag brake on it because I have it in my Pajero. I think the one Omar's talking about is the next model. It has like all adjustments to make it slow down how you want it to hold and everything this just has a violent break that holds it works well enough on the tennis so if you're just a little yeah that's when i'm in the mountain i try not to put it on only when i need to i kind of keep the throttle a little pull steve did you change the camera True drone reviews, no, why? Does it look any better? Or does it look worse? <laughs> I've been tweaking with lighting, and, and I don't know, Brian, remember this camera when I had it set at first, it would focus in like when I go like this and this? I took the auto focus off because I think when I kept moving like this or something like that, it kept blurring in and out, so I didn't like it. I just put it on infinity focus. Yeah, it's pretty good, I guess, then. It was worth buying it. It was only like 50 bucks, too, so I forgot what model it is. It's the Logitech 920C or Pro or something. Till, you can tell when you get old, you, you pull the stuff away like this, and the writing gets too small, and I don't want to put on them damn glasses. Everything centered out, throttle trim. Everything's on right here. So I should be able to plug this thing in and see if it works. Uh oh, she's beeping. Omar, yeah, it's a the Logitech. It's a regular cam. It's a like a uh, what is it like a chat cam? Like you said, like for if you're on Skype and stuff. I got it at B and H Photo. It was only fifty bucks on sale. Some other places it was like seventy nine. I think they have it for fifty. It's the Logitech HD ten. It's a ten eighty version, and it's a. Uh, the 920 Pro or something, C Pro. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to get these beauties to look at something. Oh, yes, Sonny. <laughs> I'll check it out. going to start last year in the summer. Yeah, check it out. Works good. I got. I got these fluorescent uh, LED tubes I put in the fluorescent ballast. And I also got, if you want to see what I got, it's like a little square thing with 37 LEDs in it. 
and it runs off a battery and it lasts real long. It goes from zero to a hundred, the brightness. I think I only got it on like 20 right now. And it, and it's like, it was cheap. I think it was like $35 or something. And it lights up everything. Like if I put it on bright, you'll see this real bright, but it kind of, I don't like it. Cause I see it. You should, I guess you should have it higher. Cause I have it right over the mon the laptop. It's like four inches over angled down. So you could see it like the wheels and stuff. All right. I guess let's see if it's working. Oh, it's going reverse. So I guess they got the wires the wrong color. Ugh. There, and that should fix the problem. All right, let me shut it off again just to make sure. Let's see how this works with this new setup in here. See, now that don't have no drag brake right now. Let me see. I think if I pull this, I think it's the top one. I think if I just take it out, it does that. No, nope. maybe it's this mode. One of them is rock crawling mode. You may have to restart the ESC. I don't know why it ain't working. I don't see it over here. Try that. Maybe I have to put the throttle on reverse and leave the wires. Maybe that's what the problem is. So I'm not getting no uh, drag brakes on this right now for some reason. I know it has it. It's just not. Let me shut it on and off. It's the mid one, if I remember right. I still got no drag brakes. What the hell? There's only two spots you can put it to the outside and the inside. Let me see something. Oh, there it is. It's totally pulled out that Omar. See, I, to I totally pulled the second jumper out. Now it's working. So I don't even have to put this little jumper in there. Should be three options. Let me get the grandma glasses. Forward reverse, forward brake, forward brake reverse. Oh, I get it. When you pull it out, it does forward and reverse. When you put it to the left, it does forward and break. And when you put it to the other slot, it does like the normal forward, reverse, and break. So I guess you have to pull it out to make it do the crawler with the break. So I'll just leave this extra jumper. I got a couple of these now. So now it should be working. Let's see. Yeah, it's flooring, working. Let me see if I could just put this in like crappy real quick just to try it. Let me just put one screw in here real fast. Just a little bit to hold it in place. Skypot, thanks, Drew Jones. Appreciate it. Could not get the stinking audio to work. <laughs> God, this screw tip. That's good enough. All right, so now it's working. Except for I didn't plug in my LEDs. It doesn't matter because I'm just testing. I got to refix all the wires and stuff. You hear that? The power of the WL Toys Modified.
Junior West in the house. Beauty. <laughs> you want to see it try to climb up the angled thing and see how to, how it works? I could put up the angle thing on the side and turn bring the camera there and test it out. You guys want to see that? All right, let me try to figure this out. Remember, I'm new to this. I'm just going to hold on a minute. I'm going to try to get the piece out here. And I use this here. And I set it up on the angle of the bench, and I try to climb it up there. So let me go do that. Cloud buster, heck yeah. I'm gonna take off the camera and it's on like a wire, it has a pretty long wire. I'm gonna try to position it so you guys could see what I'm doing with the ramp over there. So don't get scared if you look like everything's shaking. I can't see, I have to look at that mom. See if I put it up on something here. That's good. Could you guys see it? Or is it better if I put it here? No. I guess I'm going to have to put it right here for you guys to see it. How's that? Is that good enough? All right. All right, I'm gonna take a sucker over there and I'm gonna try to make it go up there. I won't be in the picture, so I won't know what's happening either. So there it goes. I don't know how high this is, but it's pretty good. We'll see how the drag brake works on it also. Now here's the drag brake. Pretty good. This thing curls pretty good. Let's put it higher. Uh oh, that's steep. I don't know about this. WD 40 works like a champ on the tire. Now let's see the drag brake. Pretty good. I don't know if it could go any steeper, guys. That's that's pretty steep. Oh, the front tire is lifting. I'm telling you, this WL toy works like a beauty. Look at that. Should we try a little higher? <laughs> I wonder at the degree, this is actually pretty high. That's high. Beauty! Look at that! Now you guys gonna go out and get some WL toys, guys. <laughs> Try a little higher. That's steep. We're gonna stand behind it for this one. Here goes nothing. Holy crap. Look at that. One wheel lifting up. Oh, look at that. Ah, I think I can get up. Ah, that was awesome. It's pretty good, ain't it? Let's try 
try a little higher, but I think this is about it for this beauty. This is steep. I don't even think none of my other cars could get up this. I bet you if I tried my Gen 7, it would flip right over. Or my CC01, I could probably try that. Uh, it's hard to go straight because the one tire comes up. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. So it looked like it went like about this much. Let's try that. It's hard from the side here. There's no way. I don't think my Pajero will go up this. See, it can make it up that. I just went off the side. That was awesome. Did you see how high the thing climbed up? No, CC1 could go up. You want me to try my CC01? That's a 50, 50 dude. This thing's like a spider, I'm telling you guys. It's real good. I don't think my CC1 will do it. These guys want me to try to CC01. I'll break that out, but I don't think I leave the ramp the same. But we'll see if the CC01 goes up. I got the Gen 7. I'll try to Gen 7. I have a feeling that beauty will just roll right the hell over. Let me set it up again, guys, so I could get the truck ready. See, I got the truck over here. You see all my stuff? <laughs> Let me get this up here in position. Is that good? My brother says try his. First I'm going to try, let me try mine first. Let me get a battery. Where the hell is it? Right here. I'm going to try the, the uh, Pajero, guys. I'm just going to leave this in the same exact spot. You know what? Let me let me try the Toreg. I know the Toreg goes up higher because I have the longer wheelbase. I'm gonna use the Toreg model. I'm gonna use the purple, purple electro beauty. We'll have to see how this thing goes. I know this works better than the Pajero because it's got a longer wheelbase. But I don't think it's going to go. It might go up there. Who the hell knows? I'm going to have to put the battery on. Let's see. I'll just put this clip. There you go. That's on. Turn that on. All right, almost ready. Ready to see this thing go. The Gen 7 will be next, but I have a feeling Gen 7 won't even go up. They warm up the tires. <laughs> All right, here she goes. Is 
Nothing. No way. Oh, the CTO one beauty. Yo. Come on. Tires are screeching. Oh, she's losing it. Forget it. <laughs> The CCO one did good, but it can't get up. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> ah, the ramp move. The CCO one couldn't do it, guys. And I moved the ramp. I should have marked it. Moved a little bit. Let me see if I can get up now. See that little bit of movement on the ramp made you be able to get up. Well, let's see. I'll put it a little higher. That's about it for this model. I can tell. I'm going to try to 10 7 here. These guys want to see the 10 7 try to go up there or what? I'm close. I'm not, if you guys are asking questions, I'm not on the computer's face the way I was just doing the test. I'll try to Gen 7 now. Let me get it set up. Let me put you back in position for the challenge. Is that good? Could you see it good? All right. Let me get this sucker. The CCO one did pretty good, though. That's pretty steep. I have a feeling the Gen 7 is going to collapse the, the ramp. It's like a, a ramp in there, racking cardboard. A portable ramp from Dora Tracks, I think, made them. So we'll see what that does next. Where did I put the radio Gen 7. Where's my Gen 7 radio? Where the heck did I put it? Is this it? Gen 7 radio. All right. I'm going to put the battery in the Gen 7 here. This thing's heavy. This one's kind of heavy, so... I did drop, I think, to a 14 tooth pinion gear in there. I put a smaller one. It usually comes with a bigger one. So I got more power than the normal stock rig. Turn that bad boy on. Let's pull this thing in. Shut that up. I made the body on the back with the uh, pieces, the hook under the bumper to hold. I don't know if these guys could see. I made pieces come out to hold it under the bumper because it always twisted. I have a feeling the ramp's going to collapse and bend. <laughs> So this thing is heavy. All right, 10-7, the ramp test. 
I have a feeling. Let me warm this sucker up first, the tire. Man, it's got power, I'll give it back. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, the Gen 7's killing it. Hot oh, tires are a little slippery. Damn, the Gen 7 did it. Woohoo! Beauty! I bet if I had Proline tires on there, it would really go up. Let me try a little higher. I think the ramp's going to bend over here. That's what makes it start hopping, bouncing up and down. Try that. Gen 7's killing it. little bit more. I think it's at its limit. I think it's going to bend there. Lucky I raised my bumpers. They don't hit into the cardboard, the uh, ramp, the, the uh, plastic inside. See, so, yeah, if I would have had it stopped right now, then bumpers would have dug in. I raised the front and back. Tires are a little slippery. I bet you if I put WB40 on them, they'd work. Oh, Nelly. Ah, let me try that again. That works good. My ramp's collapsing. I think that's going to be it for this one. Oh, tires are smoking. <laughs> Ah, that's it, guys. <laughs> it did good, though. <laughs> it did nice. <laughs> Let me see if I could get this uh, back up here. in the same spot. Yeah. So what one you think worked best out of them? I don't know. The WL Toys is pretty good too for what? 50 or Yeah, I put the lights in mine. I don't know, the Gen 7's nice. She worked like a champ. My Hunter will definitely break that. <laughs> I don't know, Basher Boy. This thing's freaking like a lead weight. I think it might be heavier. This got, I think the, uh, the Honto has like a hollow C-rail chassis. This has like a stamped steel. It's real thick and heavy. I'll show you. The TRX-4 kind is. This is like thick. Real heavy. This, this thing's heavy as hell. It worked pretty good. If uh, if Red Cat would have made the pumpkins on this, 
not as down as far and smaller at the price point. I think this would have been the best curl you could get for anything. That's the one thing I don't like is the pumpkins are a little low, but it works good. Later, Omar, thanks for stopping in and watching the nice tests I put out here with the trucks. Appreciate it. Oh, you put RC Basher, bro. You got lead in your wheels. Forget it. That ramp. Inside the cardboard, it's like an oval, and there's a plastic ramp, a portable, like, plastic ramp that folds out. And it's kind of like that aerated pipe stuff, so it bends. Caleb Wagner, yeah, I left mine all stock. I put like a 14 tooth pin in gear. I chopped the heavy metal off the top. I put my ESC on the side and the, the receiver. I switched these around and I made the bumpers switched up and I made the body post switched around so it lowers the center of gravity where the shots mount on. So it's a little less tippy, but if it was stock, I would have never have gotten up that ramp because the front bumper would have been scraping. But because I raised it up, that let you go higher. Holy crap. RC Basher, boys, his crawler weighs 20.1 pounds. This ain't 20 pounds, but it's heavy. That crawler climb test was fun. I bet you my little, I don't have it here, but I bet you my little, uh, the adventure, the 124th one, I bet you that thing, would, it probably won't climb that steep, but it'll go steep. I did the same thing with my bumpers. Yeah, you got to do that with the bumpers. It works much nicer. But I have to say, this thing, this thing here, I got it for 59 free shipping. I uh, did the modifications. It was all stock. It was working good. I used it in the mountain for a, a lot, probably like five, six miles all the times I went. Then the one time the stock electronics just burnt out. But for the price of this one, and I put these tires on. I had these old uh, RC four-wheel drive tires and these lossy wheels. It worked actually good. You've seen it crawling up that. It's like steep as hell for a toy it actually worked nice and with the new electronics in there now it's awesome i gotta get a video of this in the mountain now uh, once i put all the stuff inside and put it like tie rack down the wires and stuff then i'm gonna solder a dean's plug on here because the esc the 1060 comes with a tamaya i wish they had a dean's on it but the Gen 7 did good. And I also modified, I don't know, Caleb Wagner, if you could see my suspension here. Look how I angled the shocks in, both of them back towards the center. That makes it twist smoother. It's much better now than stock. You could see it, it twists like it's smoother, like a softer. It's nice. So I got to try this up in the mountain now, too, because I just switched them shocks in there. Because I noticed in some of my videos, when I'm going over some slanted rocks, I noticed it didn't look like the suspension was twisting like enough, like it would lift off a little bit. So now like this with the modification, moving them in further, it's softer. So I think it'll work better now. Hmm. <laughs> my body over here. Let me put this aside, guys.
So the upgrade with the 1060, I see looks like it works like a champ. Did nice on that hill test over there. It was actually good. Let me unscrew it now because I want to see something with the wires. I think I'm going to put a zip tie around something here to hold it closer together. Like I said, I got a solder a Dean's plug on here. Because they put the stupid Tamaya cheap type connector on here. I don't like that. I don't know if I'll have enough room to plug this in. That's the thing. If I put a Dean's, I may have to. Because look on this ESC I had in there. I made it really long so it would come out. I may have to add extra wire. If any of you guys in the USA want a Gen RC sticker, I had these made. Email me through my uh, home page on the YouTube page and give me your address and I'll ship you one out. They're vinyl stickers. Show us the beetle. All right, let me show you the beetle. I could work on this. When I work on it by myself, I just got to tidy up the wires here. That's no big deal and shut her up. Let me get this out of the way. Let me, let me clean this up a little bit here, guys. I'll show you. Okay. Bucks RC World's in the house. You missed all the fun. I broke out. I fixed the WL toys with the new electronic speed controller. I broke out the WL toys. The, uh, the CCL1 chassis. And the Red Cat Gen 7, and I had a ramp with the camera. On the other side, we were seeing how steep they climbed. So if you want to see the hill test, look back at the beginning of the video after this is over. I, we tested all the trucks to see how high they could climb up on the steep angle test. RC Basher Boy wants to see my logo. My logo is this little bug here on everything on YouTube. And I told them that that logo comes from this little beauty here. I have a couple of these. These are from the 70s. They're, uh, they're Cox gas cars. And I used to have them when I was a kid. I loved these things. My brother had a yellow one. That's why I liked them so much. And they're cool as hell the way they look. They're just awesome. Look at the fat mag tires on it. I actually wanted to make one of these an RC car with this body, but I don't know if I want to mess one up. Well, anyway, they open up. Whoa, it's rolling away. These guys probably can't see. They open up. You see the little motor with the pull start? And you engage the gear with this. Uh, well, this one, oh, yeah, this one does have it. It has a lever here that switches the gear onto the motor worm gear thing there. See it? And also has a glow plug. You hook the battery on right there. And when you have it running, you adjust the needle valve like the like the new cars, the gas cars. But this only has a high-end needle valve. And you adjust that. And when it's revving high as hell, you flick the switch and you shut the lid and you turn the wheels. You could go, you could uh, turn them straight or right and left. They have a clicker so it goes in a circle. And then you put the lid on, you let it go. 
I made a few videos of these cars that I made uh, RC, the older, like, not the bug ones. I didn't realize when you were a little kid you had fun with them. They're so loud that when you start one now when you're older, they're so loud. It's like I had to put earplugs in. I don't, maybe that's why they stopped selling them because it's like, it's like a regular nitro engine with no exhaust on it. So it comes right out full bore and it rings your ears. It's like crazy. I'm surprised they sold these when we were kids. But anyhow, this one also, they came in like RC also. You did what you did with the motor and you started it. And they would have, instead of the clicker, they would have a, a remote in these also, an AM remote. That when you turn right and left, the wheels would just turn, but the speed would stay the same. RC Basher Boy, how fast is that Beetle? This is like the slowest Cox one they ever made. They made it with these mag tires, and it looks all cool. If you search my channel, I don't have one of these running, but I have other ones that were faster. This thing, it goes on a worm gear, and it had a big gear. It goes probably, I say, like four miles an hour maybe or less. This was slow as hell. But you could run these in the grass and stuff and in the dirt. So I think that's why they made this Baja bug with a lot of torque compared to the other ones. But I don't know why they put slicks on it. That's my RC says for my. Yeah, do a search for uh, a Cox uh, Baja bug. And there'll be someone running it on YouTube. You can check it out. They're slow as hell, but I have videos of my own of the sandblaster. And I forgot the interceptor or scepter or something the car was. They're a lot faster. They're still slow. I made them full RC with a carburetor on them for throttle control. I have some videos of them. And I also made a, a van blaster. It's a van like the lunchbox, but low with the little street tires. I made that full RC with the carburetor also. I have them videos on my channel if you search Cox. Okay, so they are controllable. Yeah, the later models, these eight, these are like they have clicks, like the wheels turn left, straight, or right. They pop in, so whichever way you turn them, and it'll keep going that way. Later on, like the later versions, they made a few RC ones with a box in there with a servo, and it had like a wheel remote. It didn't have throttle, though. You just tuned the engine how fast you wanted it, and then you could just turn left and right. That's all they had. But now they have parts, carburetors for them on some site. I looked, they have like special carburetors. So I made some of the old ones proportional steering and proportional throttle. I have videos if you search Cox car on my channel, and I actually sold them. People that were like my age and older loved them. They're like, oh, they wanted them because they had them when they were a kid, but they couldn't drive them. They had to just pop the wheel and leave it go. I'm going to sleep. It's 3 in the morning. Peace out. Later, Gordo. Thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it. That's my RC. You missed it. You got to watch this back. I put, let me move this bug over here. You know you want to keep looking at it. It's such a beauty. <laughs> That's my RC. I put a new ESC in this beauty here, the WL Toys. And then it has the drag brake and stuff. So I asked the guys, oh, you want to see it go up the hill challenge? So I set up a plank over here on the other side, and I moved the camera. I tested this, how high it could go up on an angle. I tested the CC01 and the Red Cat Gen 7. So if you want to see them three trucks tested to see how high they could climb up, you're going to have to wait till this is over and look back in the video when it's updated. It takes long to upload. I know, they look so cool, right, Basher Boy? They're awesome. That's why I have a couple of these on my shelf. I have a yellow one and two orange ones. I want to make one RC, but I'm afraid to do it. Even if I just leave it, like, stock, I think you could put uh, 
I seen guys put the new the old Tamaya Sand Scorcher front wheels on there and the rear one on the rims. You could put the rear ones on. You could glue them on and use them, but it doesn't have no suspension. If you make it like a pan car, you could probably use it just to see it going. Or if you get some chassis with this wheelbase and somehow put the body on. I wouldn't want to go fast and messed up the body anyway, but it would be nice even if it went like 10 miles an hour or 12 and it just went like that and you could steer it and drive it because it looks really cool looking. It's got full interior too. I don't know. I don't know if you guys could see in there, but it's got full interior with the steering wheel and the seats and stuff. It's got everything in it, the shifter, the emergency brakes inside there. You see the seat? It's got the emergency brake and the stick shift and the steering wheel. That's my RC. If you want to get one of my stickers, just uh, email me through my YouTube homepage and I'll send you one out. You give me your address. They're vinyl. Pretty cool. Let me move this bad boy out of the way. He doesn't want to stay here. <laughs> I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit here. I'm finished with it. I put the 1060 in there. I'm just going to put some tie wraps on the wires. So will be ready to go. I was waiting for J.D. Passel to come in here. I got something in the mail from him. But I guess he ain't online. Cool. I know, right? These ESCs are awesome. They're so good. 20, I think they're like 20 bucks. I just sent the message asking for the price on those stickers, but I figure I could get a faster reply here. Are you charging it? Celeb Wack? No, if you want one, I'll send you one. Just go on my homepage on the YouTube and uh, there's a contact. Just contact me by the email. And give me your address, name and address, and I'll just ship one out to you. Because I got I got a whole bunch of them made. What am I going to do with them? I stick, I stuck one here, and I stuck one on the car. <laughs> yeah, this thing's working awesome. I just wish that's my RC. I wish they had a Dean's plug on them stock so you didn't have to cut it all the time. I just put this adapter here so I could plug this in and try it out. But I don't even know if this is going to be long enough to get over here with a Dean's plug to get to the battery. It's going to be a pain. 
I may have to add an extension on there, but it's working good. Got the drag brake. Now when I go on the mountain, I have to test this app because I never tested it with the new electronics and the servo I put in there. The real size servo in there now, Metal Gear. So it should work good. I'm so mad. I thought this ESC for my twin hammers, it was running a 12 turn motor. So I put it in there and it had crawler mode and it just kept overheating thermal and after like five minutes of climbing like a steep grade. And this thing has an 80 turn motor. So I don't know how it did it, so, but it worked in regular mode, but not in the crawler mode. So I'll save this for a regular RC car. <laughs> Anyone want to see inside the WL Toys remote controls? <laughs> I'll show you. I took it apart. Here's what you get when you buy one of these. That's what you get when you buy one of these. I guess it's like a cheapy 2.4. Look at the trigger on it. Let me see if I could, so you could see it. See the trigger? It's all cheap, but gets the job done. Cheap radio. It probably still works. I don't think it was my radio. I think the something in the electronics of the car burnt out. Wonder if anyone needs a radio. I could probably put this together. It's a waste to throw it in a garbage book. It is what it is. What's the name of the beetle again? I'll definitely look them up. The bug here, this is a Cox Baja bug. They have all different ones. If you search my site, just search Cox car or Cox gas. And I have all ones I modified to full remote control. But if you look online for uh, other guys, because I didn't make a video of this running. If you look on like YouTube and search Cox Baja bug gas car or something. I know there's some running videos of these. Cox Baja bug. Right here on the side, look. Baja bug. And you'll see how slow they were and how loud they were, but you won't get the real effect, I'm telling you. When you hear these in person, you got I gotta wear when I was making them and making them full RC and selling them on eBay. Guys wanted them because they were older and they could run them and steer them and stuff and the throttle work with the carb. I had to put earplugs in to freaking use them. That's my RC says Dynamite 25T380. I meant in been a while. I looked at my rotor conversion. 380s. Cox Baja Bug Bash. Yeah, just like that. Cox Baja Bug. And you should be able to find it. And if you don't, just put Gas Baja Bug. You'll find other ones on my channel if you just put Cox. I think I have a playlist for Cox and cars in mine. But if you want to see this beauty running, they have this in a Doom Buggy. They also have a Buggy also. There's all different ones. There's not that many on YouTube, so if you just punch in Cox gas car, you'll probably see a lot of different styles. If you want to see a lot of different types of bodies and stuff they used to have, they used to have uh, three-wheel choppers and everything, just put Cox gas car, and you'll see like the lab all different ones. That's my RC. I put WD-40 on the tires. 
They make them grip really good. That's why it got up that hill, that steep plank over there. I had to, a few days ago. I coated them like a week or two ago. I forgot. But they're still gooey and sticky. So they work good. This climbed really good. I'm surprised. I made my own plug for the LEDs that plugs into the receiver because this has full LEDs across the front and the uh, top here. So it looks cool looking. So this is just about, this is ready to go. I just got to bolt it all together. First, I want to solder the Dean's plug on here. And then it'll be ready to go. And I can beat on it in the mountain and test the beauty out. But I think it's going to work awesome now. So the Baja Bug is my logo, and that's where I got it from, guys. My growing bug says junk. What's he talking about? The bug's junk? <laughs> That's what I say. Nice W4 trick. I just ordered up some 2.2 gearhead five stars aluminum wheels for the Jeep TRX4. That's cool. I'm still waiting on my TRX4 Sport. I don't think any of the shops got them in yet. Oh, the radio. What the W? Which this radio? Or, the, or this one I was showing? <laughs> the WL Toys is junk. These are okay. They're not that bad. It's Fly Sky. I ordered something else to put on the channel. I couldn't pass it up because it was such a good deal. I'll have to show you that when I get it. It's, it should be here Friday, so I might make a video Friday if I could of it. I got a new RC coming because the TRX4 I probably won't get for a long time. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this radio, I took it apart. I don't think it may not be broken. I think I broke the electronics in mine. I think this is still good. I'm probably going to toss it in the garbage. But someone may need it, though. That's, that's kind of a shame to throw it out. But if someone needs a radio. This thing's awesome now. Full electronics. I got the nice metal gear servo in here, the standard size. I got the real ESC to 1060. I got the fly sky in here. It's all nice now. If anyone wants to see what I did to this, just look back when this is uploaded. And plus, uh, I did the hill climbs with my cars. I did the hill climb. I put the camera to the side and I have a plank and I was climbing with this and I did it with the CCO one and the Gen 7 Sport from Red Cat. We were testing how steep they could climb out. So if you want to see that, you're going to have to wait till this is off and uploads, then you'll be able to look at it on my channel. I had a blast doing that. It was fun. <laughs> I have the Fly Sky G3B. Is that the programmable the one with the LCD screen on the top? Six model or ten? I used to have one like that. I don't know. Hold on a second. I have a lot. I have a lot of these kind, but I also have this one. This is the two version. The GTB, whatever, a GT2B. It's the same thing, but in the bottom here, I actually like these ones better. In the bottom here, they give you like a little one-cell lipo that's in a plastic that you can put in here. And you have to charge it in the controller from a USB. 
somewhere on here. Where the hell is it? I, I think it might be in. Oh no, where the hell is it? There's somewhere you charge it with the USB or you take it out. I don't know where the hell it is. Oh, here it is. It's on the back, that little thing. You charge it with the USB and there's a little 1S light for that goes in there. It's like almost the same. I prefer them with the AAs in the bottom of the floor. I think it's better. Because this thing, I don't trust leaving the lipo in there. So I put it in the back safe here. And then when I take it out, I have to put it in. I'd rather have this version. You guys are going to hate me. I have DXR. Oh! Now everyone likes their whatever the radio they're happy with. I just never had a good luck with the Spectrum because I used to use it years ago and I had uh, boats and RC boats. It would never work on the water. These fly skies will go forever far away. No problem. The Spectrum was so bad they had to make a spe uh, special two antenna back then like a, a marine uh, receiver because they didn't work the standard ones. And also I had bad luck with the... Uh, Twin Hammers Spectrum Radio. I was in the mountain. I was so pissed off. The steering spring broke and I had no, it wouldn't come back. And that's a fault. They always say Spectrum Radio, the spring, the steering spring snaps. And I heard lots of bad stories about glitching with them also. The best one I like is my uh, Capropo is the best. Never had a problem. Has way more features than anything. It's like a computer radio. And then uh, I like Airtronics is nice also. And these Fly Skies, actually, I made a module for the back, the back of my uh, older Capropo radios. Use a module. I got a Fly Sky module and modified it, so I plug it in. I could use all these Fly Sky receivers with my good Capropo radio, and that's what I use with all my Tamaya cars. And then on my faster ones, I use the real Capropo 2.4 system on those. My grown bug says Propo is old school. It's not Propo, it's KO Propo. They're like the best radios in the world. Go look on uh, their site. They got one so nice, you'll and they're real expensive. I have the older model, the AX10 and the uh, EX5 Ultra Response. I don't know if you ever seen my videos. I showed one of my radios in there. You've probably seen it in one of them. But they got these new radios. They're advanced. They pull all apart and modules and go together, and click together. They're like, you got to look at KO Propo. You'll see. <laughs> Spectrum's the best in the world. Look at uh, search online for KO Propo 2.4 radio systems. You'll see they're really really like uh futuristic and they have a lot of features they have like they like mine has it too but i didn't order the trigger you could bend you have a ball on the end of the trigger and you put it in reverse there's a screw and you could twist the trigger like this part on mine you could put it in closer away or you could angle it has a ball on the end with a screw you could angle it instead of being straight the trigger you could turn it in or out, whichever way it fits your hand better. They have all neat stuff. And KO Propo is working on one without a trigger, some new method.
Any people here foodable? I had foodable. I, I don't like it, but I the new stuff I like. The reason why I hated it for so long, I'll give you a little story when I was a kid why I hated foodable and never got it and I hated it and hated it. Some I'm surprised no one did this yet because I did it with motors back in like 1980-something. I made an aluminum chassis pan car with the steering with the servo like a normal pan car. But on the back of the pan car, you know how they have an axle with the gear and you put a motor? I didn't have that. I had two 540 motors screwed down onto the uh, chassis like this sideways, screwed down. And I had the foam tires and wheels directly bolted onto the motor shaft, the drive shaft and the motor. No gears, two separate motors, one for each wheel. It was so smooth and it didn't make no noise. The thing flew. I went down the street. It was so fast. The food of a controller went out of control, and that's why I hate them. It hit a curb. My whole aluminum chassis rolled up and over like a circle and ruined it. But I'm surprised no one did direct motor drive because now with the brushless motors, if you built a pan car like that with a pod suspension with two brushless motors with two of them light foam small RC mag wide tires on it, that thing would probably fly so fast it would be unbelievable. Bucks RC World had a food of all my HPI Nitro MT didn't fall fail once. Yeah, the new ones are good. I'm talking about when I was a kid. It was the AM one with I think the JR Junior ones. I don't know if you remember with the antenna. Basher Boy says, that's crazy. Yeah, I bet you if you built one now with two brushless motors like that and you had a long strip to go, I bet you that thing would fly. Because the car, if you make it out of aluminum and you put like a little Alexan, the wing type, nice low body on there, the GTP, it's real light, doesn't need a lot of power to propel it. So you could do a direct drive. Yeah, mine had crystals, AM crystals. Oh, I remember all the crystals. Your friends used to come over if they had the same crystal, you couldn't run your car. <laughs> One time my friend lived down there. Bucks RC World, here's a funny little story. Nick Port, no, I never thought of it, but I bet you if you did with the brushless motors, it'd probably go really fast. Bucks RC, here's a funny little story when I was a kid. my We both, me and my friend had the RC-10 when it came out. And we had the AM radio. We got into a fight for some reason, and he lived like one, two houses away from me, right? And it was like a hill. And, and I lived where it was probably like about a hundred foot away, probably a couple hundred feet away from each other to house. So <laughs> he was outside riding his RC-10 <laughs> in the street. And I had the same crystal. Like, that bastard, I plugged it in mine. I was going straight. I was like, dear. <laughs> and he was going out of control, hitting into the curb. <laughs> and he, he was wondering what happened with his car, but I took control. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy things you do when you're a kid. But here, Basher boy, food of is good, but here in my town, no one had food of a receiver, so I had to switch to Spectrum. Yeah, you gotta get what you can get. Also, you gotta look at how much it is too, because some of them are a lot of money to receivers. Some are like. Pretty good price. Yeah. Bucks RC, he was riding his car and I was turning it into the curb and everything. <laughs> Another funny story is that same kid that, that I grew up with 
we were riding our cars and there was a gutter, but it, I used to live by the mountain I go to now, my RC cars, it was right in the back. There was a gutter and the mountain water would run in it and it would be like water in the gutter, like the sewer rather, not the gutter. The sewers had water under them going through. He was riding, I don't know, it was some Tamaya car. And he was riding. When we were riding, he slid out and it went inside the uh, sewer and it fell down into the water. <laughs> <laughs> And he's like, get my car, Steve, get my car. <laughs> it was funny, though. <laughs> I, I forget how he got his car out. I think we had to use, like, some kind of wire or something or a fishing line with a hook or something. The good old days. I used to build them for the kids when I was younger. They would get the kits. Their, their parents would buy them the kit. They didn't know how to build them. So they used to give me like $50 to build like the Tamaya kits, like the frog and the fox and all that. So I built them and then I saved up the money and I got a couple kits myself because I never got nothing. I had to get the money and get it myself. A guy lost his e rev on the lake. He should have put them uh, plastic shipping bags under the uh, body. That's what I would do if I was going on the water. You put, like, the bags, the, the big air pocket ones they give you in shipping. That way your car can't sink. I put them in my boats up in the front of the hull. <laughs> Fished it out with an anchor. <laughs> Pool noodles, yeah, those work good. Well, anyway, I want to tell you a story about this one kid. He had me build him his uh, Tamaya Fox, right? So I built it all, and I'm like, I call him up. Oh, it's done. You can pick it up because they used to give me $50 to build them, like put them together in the radio and ready to run. So he comes over, he gives me the $50, and he's looking at it. And I'm like, oh, I say to him, you can't drive it yet. He goes, why? I said, you have to push up and down on the shocks like probably like a thousand times to break them in before you use it so it works good. And then the kid, <laughs> he, he's sitting there like this for like two minutes. And I'm like, oh, I was just joking. He thought you really had to push it up and down a thousand times. <laughs> oh, my God. That was funny. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't get cut off yet. It's amazing. Maybe I figured it out. Usually I get cut off, but looks like it's working out. I gotta watch this back just I just gotta watch this back again just to see how it looked when I was climbing up the uh, ramp with the trucks. That's probably funny. <laughs> As your boy's laughing. You're lucky you didn't know me when I was small and you were my friend. <laughs> I used to prank everything. Calabwagon. Yeah, it's smooth. It's working nice. I got to look back at it, too, because I uh, took the autofocus off on the camera because I think it was it was like going and making like uh, blurry and sharp. And I think it worked not as good. I also adjusted the color a little bit down. I don't know how it looks on your computers. I adjusted the color a little down. I know this laptop I have here looks like the colors always cool like a bluish looking so i have to look on my computer if it looks too colorful let me know because i could lower it next time 
Steve-O's in the house. Snakes. No snakes in the live stream today, but you missed. I had a nice time with the trucks here. I put a new ESC in this beauty here, Steve. And then I tested it. I turned the camera. I tested it on the uh, test plank for the trucks to see how angled they could climb to the top. I, I did it with uh, this WL Toys, the CCO one and the Gen 7 Red Cat. So if you want to see that action of the climbs, you're going to have to wait till this is over and look back in the video. It's funny. I was climbing up the planks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, good hanging out, you guys. I have to run, Basher boy. All righty. I'll see you later. Thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it and all the support you guys give me. It's awesome. Trying to grow bigger and better every day. I appreciate it. Steve, you asking how I like this? It's still a part. I put the ESC in. This 1060 a quick run ESC, if you could see it here, it's awesome. It has like three modes and it has a lipo and nim mode. And it has rock crawler mode that the drag brake goes on. It worked out real good and it was climbing like a bitch up that hill. You got to look back at it. You won't believe how steep these were climbing up. It was awesome. I tested the three trucks. This ESC, Steve, it's like $21 shipped, like 20 some places. The 1060, let me see if you could see it there. It's waterproof and everything. It goes up to 3S. If you need one for brushed motors, this is like the best one for the price I found. Yeah, it was awesome climbing up there. I was surprised it went so steep. All of them went pretty good. It's an awesome ESC for 21 bucks. You won't find one better. I'm telling you, I tested a lot of them. This one here, if you need one for like your Hornet, or you don't got a Hornet, your Grasshopper with the brushed motors at a lunchbox, these are way nice of an upgrade. Oh, Steve, see this car in the back? See that beauty? I painted it like my uh, English budgie bird, Stuart. You know what he looks like, the colors? That's what I painted this from. Oh, yeah, these tires, they work good. But the Gen 7, you know what my Gen 7 crawler is? I always do the videos. That worked awesome. And then I used the uh, purple and uh, blue streak, the... Uh, VW Touareg race one, the CCO one to my worked awesome too. But this thing for the price what was like $59, modified it a little bit. Shocked. It worked so good up the incline test. You have to look back and see it. Yeah, I wanted to show you. I was waiting for JD, was it Pastel, to come in here. I got something from him and I wanted to show him, but he's not here. Also, Steve, I sent your stickers out. I sent your stickers uh, Monday. I don't know how long you'll take to get them. Let me get this beauty down. This is the one I said you should do for the next build. See that beauty there? This is the ECX amp one I said you should do. It's the MT. For the next build, instead of a Tamai, you know how Tamai, you have to buy the radio, ball bearings, and all that stuff, and it adds up a lot. This kit comes, it doesn't give you a good radio. It gives you that little radio. You ever see the little one I have in my, uh, what the hell is it, that RGT Adventure 124 truck with that little radio? That comes with this one also, but it gives you the ESC. Full ball bearings, oil shocks, everything. It's the ECX MT kit. This is the only one they sell as a kit. The others are ready to run. Take a look at it.
I'll show you the inside. I made mine brushless, but well, anyway, Steve, this is like $129, the kit, full ball bearings, oil shocks, ready to run, but all apart. You got to assemble it. They give you the radio ESC and the servo. And they also have the, uh, what the hell is it? They give you a battery also and a charger. So right out of the box, when you build this kit, comes with everything. So if a person's new and they're watching your channel and they want to get into RC, they build this kit. They don't need nothing else but the box for 129. You put it together and you could take it out and run it because they give you everything, the battery and everything. Mine I made brushless. You can see I have a video of this one. I made mine brushless. So if you want to do something different on the builds instead of a Tamiya, because they could add up with uh, with all the extra radio you got to buy, the ball bearings and stuff, the servo, that adds up. So you can get this as a kit. Yeah, you could get this. It's called the ECX M MT. The MT version is only one available in a kit. They make a buggy version and this one ready to run all together. But this is the only one, the MT, comes in a kit with everything. It's basically like the ready to run, but all apart. They give you the battery, everything. Once you put it together, you can charge up the battery and use it. Once you spend the 129 or whatever it is, that's it. You could use it, charge it. So if you're a noob building this, you could just build it if it's your first RC, and you could take it out and have fun with it. Like I said, whereas with the Tamaya, if there's a new person watching your channel, they'll get the Tamaya kit. They'll have to buy a battery, a charger, ball bearings, a servo, and a radio. With this, you just buy this for $129 and you get it all. Yeah, go search uh, Horizon Hobby or A Main Hobbies or one of them. You could see it on there. I guess Horizon Hobbies would be the best because I think that's who makes this brand. Oh, yeah, the body comes clear. It don't come painted this good, Steve. <laughs> I did this like Stuart. What, what the body comes with on it? Steve, the body comes already painted with these stripes on it. They're already painted the gray. In the striping, all the striping on the side and the gray is already on this body in the little graphics. You see the gray? But then you could paint it like I painted it fluorescent over here, yellow, and I faded it into the line, then the green up to the top, and then darker green in the back, like how my bird looks, Stuart, and it's like a bluish green. It comes clear with just the graphics on it. So see how I painted it? So you could paint it and make it any color you want, which is nice, too. It's not like you don't have nothing to do. They give you the body to paint. Yeah, exactly. It's like the Traxxas bodies that have the graphics pre-painted on. You can pick what color you want. It's a good truck, too. It's a stadium truck. At mine, you can see my video. I made mine brushless, but... I didn't go crazy. I only put a 3,000 kV motor in mine. It works good, though. Looks like the Kyosho. Bucks RC World says it looks like they all look kind of the same. These are like stadium trucks, like associated looks like, kind of like this. And all the Kyoshos and stuff like that. I think the newer, like, uh, Lossies in the... Uh, associating stuff using aluminum bottom chassis now but the ones before that used to have the tub like composite chassis tub like this kind of black back that bad boy with white silver or black i got the backing on the, i got uh White on the fluorescent, 
And then I back the fluorescent yellow with green to give it like a lime look. Then the back, I backed it with dark metallic uh, green to make you see metallics in the back through the, so the uh, you can't see what this looks like in person. There's all metallics inside the green. You can't, let me see, maybe. I know you ain't going to be able to see it. There's all metallics in the whole thing. There's like little green line metallics in the whole thing, like pearls. You, you ain't going to be able to see it, but. Trust me, Steve. It looks like a beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the associate. Yeah, they're all the same. This companies they copied them. Yeah, the wheels don't have the foams, but they have like rings inside of them. The carcass, they're pretty good for for how much it costs. Beauty for sure. Yeah, so I was thinking maybe you should do one of these for your next build because you get the noobs looking at your channel sometimes, and maybe if they want to start an RC, they get this and they get everything. You could just put it together and run it right out of the box without nothing. You don't need nothing to run this. It's basically it's basically a ready to run, stripped apart, and you build it like how you buy the ready to run with everything. That's what it is, but all apart, and you build it. Comes with everything in the box. It's a nice truck. It's actually pretty nice. And you could see they copied like the better. You could see they did like uh, Bucks RC World says. You could see. They stole everything from like the big brand companies when they used to race them. They kind of made it the same, but it ain't like high tech, like it's flexible. Like it's like flexible and stuff for bashing more. Whereas when I used to have the RC10, it was all hard. So if you nailed something, the arm would break. For 129, it's all right. For getting everything in the box. And then if you want, you could upgrade it later with like a better radio and put a brushless system in it for probably, you could get a brushless system for like $40 and a radio for like $25, like $65, $70 and you'll make it real awesome. That's what I did with mine. I put a brushless system in there. I put the easy run, quick run, and I put a 3000 KV. You see, it's not even a 540 motor. It's the... uh. 380 can 540 size rotor in the 540 can but 380 and it works good i have a video of this run and you can see it on my channel do you have any vids running yeah i have two videos running it but i just made them brushless and i gave out people like i think i gave someone all the electronics because i wasn't going to use them so I made mine brushless, but you can see how it works. It's a good truck. The only thing I did, I think, on it was put, uh, I have a modification video. I put lighter oil in the shots in the front, I think. I might have did it in the back. I forgot. And I angled them differently so it works a little better. Like the front suspension is kind of stiff in the front. So I adjusted mine now. You can see when you drive it, it moves much better. Yeah, it's all right. I like it. It handles really, really good. You can see it in the video I got. I ride it in that rough, rocky thing I ride on all the time by the tank. And you can see it handles really good. Steve, remember my last video I told you about that uh, Velcro that's not the soft Velcro. It's like the plastic one that snaps together. See, I used it on my receiver, and I just snap it right in. I can pull it off. 
See? Stuff works good. Look, you just put it there. And you push down. And it clicks right in. Look. That stuff's awesome for that. You can take out your electronics. What's that other buggy over there? Which one? That one? This one? Yeah, good stuff. Jersey B's beauty on uh, beauty. <laughs> Which one are you talking about? This one? Yeah, I'll show you. Let me let me put this beauty back first. I got so many. I gotta take this one out for a spin. I didn't use it in a while. I got a lot of RCs ready in my mind that I have to use and take a video, and I have so many I don't get to do it. This one's a definitely I have to use it. Where the hell is the hole? Where's the hole? Damn it. There she is. Let me put this beauty back. Oh. Right there. This one here, you're going to like this one, Steve. You're going to like this one. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Cloud Burger, hi, folks. That the fast attack. Yep, sure is. Claude Barker knows his cars. Look at that beauty. Beauty. Yeah, you know you like it, Steve. Look at the driver in that bad boy. <laughs> Folks, RC World, thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it. Check that out. That's a beauty. That's the fast attack. I made my custom skid plate on the back over here on the gearbox. If you could see it, there it is. I made a custom skid plate to cover the gearbox. There's like a hole here in the metal. You could rivet it on and just hook it under the front there. You could see it sideways. Let me push this tire down. See it? Skid plate. Steve, -O. now he's going to want to build one of these. <laughs> Did I switch your mind from the next build? Maybe one of these to one of these? <laughs> Looks kind of like a good. No, this thing, Steve, this got independent suspension. This got independent suspension front and rear. Look. Hey, the front ones wore off. I didn't. Uh, you had them on the front too, but they came came off from the dirt on the uh, street. It handles so good. It's really good handling because I don't want to take it off. But over here, there's a hatch. You see the two clips. You pull this hatch out, and the battery sits right on this thin plastic on the bottom. So the battery weight is all in the bottom, like in this little square thing here, real low. And that's what makes this fast attack handle really, really good. I got a video of the fast attacks running. I think I brought this one with my Z28 in a parking lot. If you look for that one, it handles this thing's fun as hell for how old this thing is. The design, it handles really good. The center of gravity is like down with the battery. The electronics are down in this bottom here too low, and it handles really nice. See if you can see the guy I did up in there. He's coming right at you guys. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I have two of these, Steve. I have this one, 
and I did the normal you know, box art with the camo and stuff on it. I have running videos of them both. Want to see the rear suspension how it works? See it? It has like a universal joints covered with a rubber shock boot type deal. See it? It's pretty cool. Works a lot better than the whole, the grasshoppers and stuff because it's all independent suspension. It's like one of my favorites to run. It's real fun. Yeah, that's what's nice about it also. Look. It's cool because the driver is so big out in the open. It makes it look really nice looking like a real guy in the buggy. Don't it look cool? What I like about this. They also make the same one. They switched the newer version. It's called the, the uh, Wild one. They made it Lexan with bigger buggy tires on it. But to me, this one looks more nicer with like the big guy and stuff and how it was original, like the fast attack. What's the fastest rig you have at the moment? Nick Porter's asking what the fastest rig I got. That's got to be my Arma. What the hell is it? I got that Arma XL, the big buggy. What the hell is it called? Oh, that's it. The, the box is down there. The Armor Raider Brushless, the big version XL. I think that goes like, what's it say on the box? 60 plus miles an hour. I never tried it yet. That's another thing I wanted to put a 3S in, in video. I only did 2S and it feels pretty quick. 3S, it's supposed to go up to 60 plus. I think if you switch to pinion gear. What's the price of that one? The funniest thing, uh, Steve, the Tamaya kits, they all went up in price. You used to be able to get a grasshopper for like $89. I think they all went up in like $20 or $30, the kits. I forgot what this one was when I bought it. I think it might have been $159. I'm not sure. What's the Armor Raider? Can't think of what it looks like. I like that beauty on it. Jersey Bees lights. Yeah, this one's awesome. I got the box here. Hold on. Let me get it for Steve. Oh, my back. Let me get it out here. Hold on a minute, guys. Fishing the box out. This one here. Yeah, I put the sticker up there. You see it? That's what it is. It's like a 1 8 scale buggy, Steve. I never tried it with 3S. If I do try it with 3S, I'll see how fast it feels because on 2S, it feels pretty damn quick. I'm not even going to bother putting the extra big pinion gear in to get over 60 plus because I think it probably go like 55 or more with the, two, with the 3S with not switching the pinion gear. But that's what it looks like. You know the one, see, it looks like that with the body off. Yeah, this is a beauty. I, I drove it once or twice. It has so much torque, the back tires, they get loose so easy on this thing here. But yeah, they, these are fun, Steve. You'll like this. Building this one's fun too, Steve. Look at the bottom on this in the front. It has the swing arm. You see it? There's a big axle that goes through the front. There's like a fiberglass here, like a plate. 
and it makes it have a independent swing arm suspension. Claude Barker, nice. Looks like the Kyosho Turbos. Yeah, kind of. I think I got the, uh, what the hell is it called? Not the Turbo Scorpion. I got the Scorpion. This is cool, though. It's a nice buggy. The handle's really good, like on road. Like if you take it on the street because it's low, it handles the weights in the bottom. Yeah, these are the stock tires you could put. Steve, these are the stock tires. You could put any of them old Tamaya ones, like the ones you have on your uh, grasshopper fit on the front and back, too, if you want to put. I, I put the same grasshopper ones on mine. I took it in the baseball field. You could put the sand poles in if you want and all the other ones. These are the, actually the Brat tires. The, they're the Subaru Brat. They're the same ones. And then I put this on here, the antenna with the flag, so it looks like a doom buggy. <laughs> I don't know. When I'm looking at the monitor with this little guy, he looks so real. I think he's going to start moving out of the buggy. <laughs> yeah, I did this one different because I told you I had, when you buy this, you could probably see over here where it's scratched. It's uh, it's tan. The plastic is is molded in like a tan sand color, because the whole thing is a tan sand color. And they give you stickers like camo stickers, and you put them on. I don't know if you ever seen my other one. It's I did it stock. It's tan with all the sticker camo stickers on it. Like the know how they do that. Yeah, these shocks here are upgrade shocks. They don't come with these. They come with regular pogo stick ones like the front on the back. These are oil shocks I put on, but they sell a shock kit, a full oil shock kit for the uh, other model. They make the wild one, I think. They sell a shock kit. Oh, the guy gonna step out of the body and Shen's gonna scream like a girl. <laughs> yeah, this is you could you could see this this is meant for uh if you look at this guy, Steve, you see on his helmet he has like earmuffs. He has like earmuff things with like a wire thing to talk in or something. That's what it's supposed to be like, some kind of earmuffs. Because this is supposed to be the fast attack, like a army military buggy. And that's why he's dressed like that with them goggles. Because it's a military bug buggy and he has like a military helmet with the goggles. Instead of like a normal man. Holy crow, this is a record. This is a record. It didn't shut off and I'm on for two hours and nine minutes. A fun buggy, not a army buggy. Depends on it. Yeah, it depends how you put it on. Yeah, I think I make my streams too long. <laughs> yeah, the recording might have stopped at two hours. That probably does crazy long wheelies. Is there a wheelie bar on there? No, this one doesn't do wheelies. No wheelie bar. Smooth as a baby's butt in the back. Kyle Wagner, I've enjoyed it. 
cool. It's good. Like I try to show stuff and everything, but it's good that the guys get together and they can talk about stuff with each other anyway. But I got something else coming. I'm getting a TRX4 Sport whenever that comes in. But I have something else I'm going to show on the channel. I might get it Friday. I don't know if I'll be able to do it in time and get a video. I got some other new RC. I couldn't pass this up for the price. So I'm going to show it on there. It's pretty cool. I'm starting to get the wheel spinning in the stream. Uh-oh. Maybe I should just connect before I get kicked off. I'm thinking of doing the live streams on tomorrow, Tuesday, or Friday night. Yeah, I don't know. I just do them random. Whatever I feel like doing, I just do them. I have a couple other cars I have to fix also. <laughs> good connection here. Yeah, this one seems to be working real good. I didn't have no problems. Everything's smooth this time. Brian, you have to come one time and you could drive the cars. I'll let you drive them and I'll film them with my DSLR so we can make some good videos. But you got to learn how to drive. <laughs> I'll let you drive them to learn because in the area, if you go in a big area, well, you can't crash or nothing. Cloud Mark, I put an 18 turn brushless in the wild on in a lip most shortly. Wheelie's nice. Yeah, I just, I think I put. Yeah, I put, I think, a 20-turn motor in one of mine. I don't know if it's my other one, the, the one like the fast attack, would I, I did it like box art. I think I put a, a, what the hell is that, Dora Tracks Photon Speed 2. It's a 20-turn motor. That one's pretty quick. This one's stock, so it's not as fast. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure I video them smashing the RCs. <laughs> I suck. I'll probably crash in the trees and geese and stuff. No, when I go to the park over here, if you go on the ball field and stuff to learn, there's nothing you can hit. Chase turkeys. <laughs> Chasing the geese would be nice. I hate those things. Damn, I had fun. I had a lot of fun climbing up the ramp with the trucks. That was awesome. Wish I had more trucks to try climbing up. That was that was neat. Yeah. Oh, Brian will hit me in the legs. I'll have my DSLR with the zoom lens trying to film him like this, and he'll nail me. I'll be like, oh, the camera go flying. There goes all the money. <laughs> There's always a rock. There goes my DSLR and my big zoom lens. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, Brian, you can handle it. I'll give you a slow one at first, like a Tamaya uh, grasshopper or something on the sand. You'll be able to handle it. Steve, could you imagine if I gave him the, the uh, Kyosho Fox to try first to drive <laughs> with the two 2S lipos in it? <laughs> if I keep getting hooked up with these uh, few places and they send me RCs, I'll give you one, Brian. Like these ones here, Brian, you could get these from China, but they sell parts in the USA now for them, and they even sell them in the USA. They're like $69, and they're pretty quick. 
But they got like dual suspension with a swing axle. They started to make pretty good stuff. What's your favorite RC that you own? Nick Porter asks. I don't know. That's a hard one. In my brain, the favorite ones I own is because when I was a little kid, I would say the Hornet and the uh, super hot shot in the lunch box because that's like what I had when I was little. But they ain't no, they ain't gonna perform good. <laughs> but they're fun. Actually, Brian, if you did want to order one, they, they sell nice ones for like 200 now. Or actually, this one's 129 ready to run. They're only 129 now. They're not expensive. They do have layaway. I think they let you make payments on like uh, Horizon Hobby and Tower Hobbies. Like they let you pay it off in three payments or four. So they do actually take payments. Steve loves the Cloud Buster. Yeah, I like that also. Yeah, like Steve is saying, a 313, all the places. If you look online, like Tower Hobbies, Aiming Hobbies, a lot of different ones. I don't know who the big hobby shops. If you wanted to get an RC car, they let you pay payments. and They don't charge any extra. They just split up the payments. Steve, the clod's the king. The clod started everything, and the X Max just kept it going. But the clod is the king because they're still making the clod today, and it's been out since what, 1985 or something? They must have sold billions of them clod busters. What the hell? Cloud Busted alone says he has 300 of them. I don't believe Cloud Busted. You know Cloud Busted. He said he has 300 Cloud Busters. My hobby shop has layaway, but I might get the Max, the X Max that way, but I'm not paying the thing to shut off. Let me see. Let me make payments, they said. That X Max is too big. <laughs> I, I don't know. I get like with the bigger ones, like I have that Fox VE. It's nice, but the bigger ones with the multiple batteries, I kind of, I don't like bringing them out. I like bringing like these. You could bring a couple of them. Jersey B's 1985 wasn't even born yet. <laughs> you were born in 85. <laughs> Cloud Bust has a video with them all in. He has a lot of new ones sealed in the package that are from the vintage originals with the Chevy emblems on the girls. They're worth a lot of money. I wasn't I wasn't born yet. I wish. 1970 for me, old man. I went close. What's that? Caleb Wagner. I wish I could afford one. I like what I got, though. The Cloud Buster you like? You could probably get one used for a lot less than if you buy the kit and stuff. Just but find one that's used that's the newer version. The, not the original, because the original, if you're going to run it, it's like brittle because the plastic's old. Find a re-release one that's in good condition. Sometimes you can find them a lot cheaper. Steve-O, Cloud Busted is my brother. Did you see the video he did for me with his new loss? Yeah, i seen them. I always watch all his videos. Fourteen. If you were only fourteen and felt that good again, it'd be awesome. 
we were born from before 85. Oh, well, we're old farts. What are you going to do? <laughs> yeah, I've seen all his videos. Hope to go, RC. I was born. I was seven and eighty-five. I was, I was fifteen. Fifteen. Time flies. I can't wait to try the WL toys now. That's awesome. I fixed it up like a beauty. Put it up here in case any people tune in because I put the title. It was about this beauty here. You, you weren't born in 1970. Yeah, I was born in 1970. I'm an old fart. Oh, damn. I thought I was old. <laughs> oh, well. See you guys. Got to go take out my teeth and change my depends and go to bed. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget your extra loaded diapers. <laughs> Take out the load and then you put a new one on, by. <laughs> Brian's so old and he still never drove an RC car. <laughs> I'm going to have to let him drive some and maybe he'll get hooked. Now that his reflexes are slower because we're older. When you ride when it is, like, oh, it's coming at me, a rock. Oh, you hit it. It's pretty easy to get hooked. Yeah. I had it bad with the Tamaya kits at one point. I kept getting them, getting them. I stopped myself. I said, that's it for me. I ain't getting no. I didn't order a Tamaya kit in a while. And now that the prices went up, it makes you not even want to buy them as much anymore. They go up, I think, like twenty to thirty dollars a kit. They went up. Filthy co RC, very easy. <laughs> Cloud Bark, do you have? Cloud Barker's asking if I have F1. The last F1 I had was that HBI one. They came out. Remember that HBI came out with an F1 with the rubber tires. And the one before that I had was an original Tamaya Road Wizard I used to have. It becomes very expensive getting hooked. Yeah. It's too much. But I found out when you have like 20 of them or more, you don't break them as much because you don't use them as much. So you don't spend as much money repairing them kind of. So it kind of levels out. Filthy Co. RC, I'm about to order another kit soon. Yeah, the prices are, they went up. I don't know why they, I think they might have went up the prices on them because I think the president passed some law where overseas they used to ship us stuff and didn't pay any taxes. But when we used to ship overseas, we had to pay a lot of taxes. Now I think the overseas places, when they ship stuff to us now, have to pay a lot of taxes like us. So I'm thinking maybe that's what raised the prices on all the kits and stuff. That's my thought on it. Yeah, they got, they used to not pay nothing and they used to just ship everything. It wasn't fair because we had to pay when we shipped it to them. So that's what happened. So I bet you even all these know how to uh, 
China companies used to sell the stuff a lot cheaper. I bet you this all starts going up too. Yeah, $20 more. That's a lot. So instead of paying like 100 now you have to pay 120 for like a grasshopper. Glad I got most of mine when they were cheap, the kids. <laughs> now if you buy it, you'll probably have to spend 25 more, 20 bucks. Every model, it adds up. Get like three kits, that's like 60 prior more dollars you have to spend on it. But I can't wait to try this with the new electronics I just put in. It's going to probably work awesome in the mountain. That's another video I'm thinking I have to make. I got so many videos in my head of different cars I have to use. I just wish it wasn't me alone. If I had someone else that could drive and I could film or I could drive and they could film me, it'd be so nice. It's hard to do everything yourself. I also modified the suspension on this one. I never said nothing about it. Is it this one? Yeah, I think I ground the A-arms a little bit so the suspension goes up a little higher. In an area, I ground something on the A-arms so it could go up a little higher. As high as it could go before the dog bones get too kinked. You need an old lady to film you. Yeah. Maybe Brian could come. If I could get Brian and I could film him driving, the, know what will happen? The films will look real good filmed now if I could film it and have someone driving. But I'll be filming. It'll look really nice with the DSLR. But then because Brian's driving and he, he never drove RCs, the car will be doing all stupid shit and everyone will be like, what the hell? Was the guy drunk driving? <laughs> well, I got this here, this letter. I wanted to show this, but I got this here. From your buddy, Steve, J.D. Passel, and I was going to show him, and I was going to stick it on the board here, so I'm gonna, just going to stick it on now because he's not here, so next time, we'll see it on the board, that's where it's going to go, where should I put it, I was thinking maybe putting it above the Ampro. Is that good up there? Right there. Where should I put it? Above the Ampro is good, right? <laughs> so, so where should I put his? Over here? Here? I'm just going to put it right here. I may need, let me see. I can't see if it's in the ah, I'm going to put it right there. Could you see it? Yeah. That way, if someone else has a small one, I could put it there. I was waiting for him to come in, but I guess he's busy. Samuel Glasser in the house. Hey, man, I have a serious question for you. What's the serious question? Is it X-rated? I knew this guy was a loser. You could if you want to come here and I'll beat the living crap out of you.
something all these people always say online, if they were here in person, they wouldn't be saying nothing. Well, go somewhere else. Goodbye. Took care of him. <laughs> Why is it always, it's like you're almost ready to shut down and we get this one stupid guy coming in saying all stupid crap. I think every time I did this uh, toward the end somewhere, we get some stupid ass guy in here. Steve O's correct. Old school, tough, new generation, they just type. They got their phones and they type. But not everyone's bad. There's a lot of good people in the world, too, to just get some screwballs like this guy, Samuel Glasser. Always have to ruin it for you. I should monetize me. You should monetize me. What the hell is that? How do I monetize you? I don't know. I just, there's a, when you see someone's name, there's like three dots next to it when you hover over it. And if you click on it, it says report, remove, put user in a timeout. And it says hide the user from the channel. So I just put hide the user from the channel. So now if he comes ever again, he probably won't be able to come on because he's hidden. I don't know how it works, but that's what I did. So you can't see him. He probably thinks he's still writing or something. I don't know. But anyhow, I got this all fixed up. If anyone wants to see what I did, it's towards the beginning of the video. And then I have all a uh, climbing challenge with the three trucks up the plank I did on the other side. I moved the camera. If you want to relook at that, because that was fun, I did that. It's going on two hours and 33. It's 10.27 here. I think it's time for me to go, guys. It's getting late. Got anything else you want to talk about before I cut this shorter? It's like I've been on here a lot, long time. Okay, guys, I'm out. Just put a new brushing system in my eye. And some start to piece. Just look, thank you. We're getting some great tips. Claude Barker, it's 12 lunch. You know, oh, it's, 12, it's lunchtime and it's bedtime here. RC Sparks notifications just went off. Well, guys. Like I said, if anyone's looking at this, you could see I updated the uh, electronics in here and I tested my three trucks, included this, the Gen 7 from Red Cat and my CCO one I drove it up a plank and tested how steep they could uh, climb. I have the camera angled. You could see what I was doing. It's pretty cool. And uh, I guess I'm going to cut this short. Thanks, guys, for all the support. I appreciate you tuning in. It's fun to talk to each other. I have a blast doing this. I just started doing it. It's awesome. So I guess I'll see you next time. And like I said, I think Friday I'm going to get a new rig, so maybe I'll get a video showing that, or maybe I'll even do it live. I don't know. We'll see. Take care, everyone. I really appreciate all you guys' support. And like I said, whoever I'm subbed, I sub and I 
you hit the thumbs up for everyone's videos. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you next time. Shen RC out, and I'll give you one for the road. Beauty. Later, guys.